Welcome to the diode and its applications tutorial. Myself D. Satish Kumar, Assistant Professor in Electrical and Electronics Department. Come to the introduction to the diode. The diode is the simplest device and which is a non linear element, circuit element. The diode consisting of two terminals, the anode and cathode. Why I called nonlinear circuit element means the voltage and the current characteristics, VI characteristics of the diode is nonlinear. The main application of diode used in rectifier circuits. So here it is shown the physical structure of the diode. The P layer semiconductor and N type semiconductor both are joining to form the diode and the diode consisting of two terminals anode and cathode. So the diode is an electronic device which conducts current only in one direction either anode to cathode or cathode to anode. So bias voltage, the whatever the voltage you are applying to the semiconductor diode is known as bias voltage. There are two types of bias voltage, forward bias and reverse bias. So here it is shown the diode symbol and I suffix F represents the forward current. So forward bias come to forward bias. So when the anode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery, the diode connects in forward bias. So during forward bias diode, a forward current conducts in forward direction. This forward current is mainly because of the majority carriers in the P layer and the N layer. The majority carriers in the P layer are holes and the majority carriers in the N layer are electrons. Come to the reverse bias. So when the anode terminal of the diode is connected to the negative of the battery, and the cathode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So the diode works in reverse bias condition. So during reverse bias the width of the depletion region is more. So when you connect a diode in reverse bias, extremely very small current flows through the diode. This current is because of the minority carriers present in the P layer and the N layer. The minority carriers in the P are electrons and the minority carriers in the N layer are holes. So in reverse bias very small current flows which is a reverse saturation current. In the f range micro ampere. So the diode symbol, the figure A shown the diode symbol and the figure B shown the diode ideal characteristics. An ideal diode have only two states. During forward bias, the diode ideal diode acts as an on straight that is short circuit. During reverse bias of an ideal diode, the diode acts as a off state that is open circuit. So figure D shown the forward bias, forward bias ideal diode, so it is which is a short circuit, the voltage is zero and the current which is greater than zero. And the figure C shown the reverse bias ideal diode, so the diode acts as an open circuit, so the current is zero, the voltage is less than zero. The same thing is shown in the, in figure B, VI characteristics. 
during forward bias the voltage is zero and the current is greater than zero and during reverse bias the current is zero and the voltage is less than zero so come to the practical characteristics vi character uh, vi practical diode vi of vi characteristics so any diode any practical diode will not work ideally so when it comes to forward characteristics because of the diode internal resistance the diode comes into conduction after the cutting voltage so here the cutting voltage is 0.5 volts as soon as the input voltage is greater than the 0.5 volt the diode starts to conduct and the current is increases the current flowing through the diode is increases so in reverse bias as i told a very small leakage current flows which is reverse saturation current so as you exceed the voltage there is reverse voltage more than the vzk the diode comes into breakdown region so the vi characteristics of the diode as i told it is non linear so this is the relation so i is the diode current and i is is i suffix s is the saturation current into e power v by eta vt minus 1 so where eta is equals to 1 for germanium and 2 for silicon and vt is the thermal voltage so types of diodes so here it shown different types of diodes and it their pictures so pn junction diode gna diode pin diode photo diode light emitting diode so come to application of diode circuits as i told earlier the mainly the diode used in rectifier circuits there are two types off wave rectifier and full wave rectifier clippers and clampers etc so come to the half wave rectifier so figure a shown the off wave rectifier circuit and figure b shown the equivalent circuit of the off wave rectifier so during pass through cycle of the input voltage the diode diode ideal diode is in forward is in it conducts so the voltage output voltage appears during negative half cycle of the voltage the ideal diode is in completely open circuit so therefore the current flowing through the circuit is zero so during this reverse bias so during this reverse bias of ideal diode or negative supply of the voltage v not is zero so you can see in the waveform the figure d is the input and output waveform so during negative half cycle of the input voltage the output voltage is zero and figure c shown the transfer characteristics of the rectifier circuit so the transfer characteristics is the relation between the input voltage and the output voltage so next full wave rectifier so full wave rectifier output waveform you can get in two methods one is by using sender trap secondary transformer second second sender trap secondary transformer circuit so here only one diode d1 is using so during pass through cycle the diode d1 conducts during negative half cycle also diode d1 conducts so therefore the voltage output voltage appears across the resistance are in both cycles so figure b shown the transfer characteristics of full wave rectifier so here it shown the full wave rectifier input and output waveform so the black black thick color black color shown the input voltage waveform and the blue color shown the output waveform so you do here in each cycle of the input that is positive or negative cycle of the input voltage the output voltage is positive whereas the half wave rectifier during negative half cycle of the input voltage the output voltage is zero
So let's bridge rectifier. So the figure here is shown the bridge rectifier circuit. Here four diodes using the same output waveform, full wave rectifier output waveform shown in the figure B, input and output waveform. The only difference between center tap, secondary rectifier circuit and bridge rectifier is here no second tra secondary second tap, center tap. So instead of that four diodes we are using. So during pass to off cycle of the input voltage two diodes conducts and during the negative off cycle remaining two diodes will conduct. So come to clippers. So what is an clipper? So it clips the portion of the input signal. Clips means it cuts the portion of the input signal. So figure here shown the clipper circuit, one of the clipper circuit. So you can see the waveform here. So the output voltage is thick line. So the dotted lines is clipping. In figure B, the output voltage V0 is shown in the thick line. So the dotted lines is, is clipping. The complete sinusoidal is input voltage. And figure C shown the transfer characteristics. As I told the transfer characteristics is the relation between input voltage and the output voltage. When the diode A is on in the circuit, that time the output voltage is constant 6 volts. When the diode B is on, the output voltage is constant minus 9. So last one clamper circuits. So clamper circuits are mainly using to add the DC component to the AC input waveform. So figure here shown the clamper circuit diagram. So you can see the waveform. So here the output voltage clamped to minus 5 volts. Thank you.